Because if my sister is enslaved, that means I'm enslaved. If my brother is enslaved, that means I'm enslaved. If you are oppressed, that means I'm oppressed. Do you understand what that means? I can't have fun at the party hey. when my brothers and sisters are outside begging to get into the party. You guys have to understand the rhetoric and the information that we're laying down in the foundation that we've been continuing to do this thing called activism for way too long and we still haven't moved a step closer for our liberation and freedom. Oh yes indeed, you can go to the bathroom with a white person. Oh yes indeed, you can go to the education establishments and get their kind of education. But Negro, when you walk outside here, where is your little Africa at? Where are your businesses at? And don't tell me nothing about a hair salon, a barbershop, and a church. Negro, I ask you, where's your business at? So how the hell are you going to tell me to be free? In Sacramento, California alone, on your fingers, you can talk about a black business that's probably been established for more than 10 years. On your two fingers. We don't even got to worry about the feet. That's the feet right there. So when we truly talk about activating your activism, we truly talk about freedom, liberation, we talk about people being awoke. How many of y'all feel that you're awoke? Ha <laughs> ha. Peace gang. Peace gang. Blessings. Okay, I'm gonna ask one more time, because there's a whole bunch of people. I saw one hand go up. Everyone's like, oh my God, I don't know now. <laughs> you just slapped me with reality. I thought it was awoke, but now that you said that. We're waking up. Okay, well, y'all talk to me. <laughs> Okay, well how are you waking up? Let's ask this again. How many of y'all feel y'all awoke? Okay, keep on rubbing your head, don't worry about that. I'll get you <laughs> Why do you think you awoke, Queen? Because I'm learning more and more every day about my heritage and where I come from and what, what I can and can't do and what, what the whites expect of me and what they don't expect of me. And by me learning that, I can make sure that I can try to do better by be more in touch with my community and, and reaching out and being, keeping myself involved in more black businesses, black owned businesses, and help make their business right. Okay, good job, good job, good job, good job.